Today, three signs that twin flame separation is almost over. And by the way, one of the things that I would encourage you to do is to go check out my free twin flame coaching videos on my True Twin Flame Teachings playlist. They're free. There's a video in there where I talk about that word, separation, what that really means. Because in this video that you're watching, I'm using it in a different kind of context. The context that you're used to, which is we're apart, we broke up, we're separate. When you find out where that word really came from, and union too, where those words really came from, you're going to have the biggest aha moment of your life. Go check them out, guys, on my True Twin Flame Teachings playlist. Now, here's the signs. I'm going to just list them off, and then I'll go into them one by one categorically. Number one, feeling like your life is about to change in ways that you can't even explain. And there's a reason that you can't explain it. But you've got this strange knowing something really big is about to happen, right? You're probably already feeling some of that. Number two, samadhi. A thing called samadhi, which is kind of a macrocosmic way of life. I'll, t I'll, I'll explain what that is a lot better later in the video. Number three. You haven't given them a thought in ages. You're not even focused on it. And you might even be clear that you are not that which does the thinking. That'll make sense to you by the time we're done. Now, it's about that time when you haven't even been thinking about them and you're focused on being a creator, which is what you really are. You're a soul. You are consciousness. And you're here to remember that. Remember, your twin flame is your soul. There's a lot of different information on the internet about twin flames, about the how and the why. What do I do about them? How do I get them to be with me, right? How, why? But the one thing everybody agrees on across the board is the what, right? There's a million different opinions about what to do, but the one thing everybody agrees on is what it is. One soul in two bodies. Twin flames. You are simultaneous incarnations of the same soul, right? This is the higher self in heaven, or you could call it the energy part of the universe, right? The afterlife, it's, it's really the before life, right? But people have called it heaven, it's like the vacuum, right? The energy part of the universe, the Higgs field, if you will, right? The spaces in between the matter, okay? And where your higher self exists, if you could call it that, there's no time. There's no such thing as time. And guys, that's Einsteinian physics. We already know this stuff. And I've seen other people use this diagram to describe reincarnation. I got out of bed one day and wrote this on a piece of paper and six months later I was like, hey, that's my diagram. How about that? How about that? So all of your individual incarnations, your higher self in heaven is experiencing all at the same time, all at once. All of these are all happening all at once from the point of view of your higher self in heaven. You and your twin flame are nothing more than simultaneous incarnations of the same soul. And guys, this is an old teaching. This is why I saw somebody else using this diagram. We've known this stuff for a long time, guys. This is how I ended up here as the world's leading twin flame coach. I've personally coached over 6,000 paying students in my paid coaching program. How about that? Now, how did I do it? Not by reinventing the wheel. Your twin flame is your soul. Your twin flame is your soul. You are simultaneous incarnations of the same soul. And that's why you get all these signs. That's what these signs are all about. Right? Like the feeling that life is about to change in ways that you can't explain. Right? An explanation is a thought, a concept. 
Remember, body, mind, soul. Back to basics, guys. Body, mind, soul. The soul is the weird knowing that your life is about to change. It's intuition. That's where that's coming from. That weird, eerie feeling, right? Now, the information that's coming with that weird, eerie feeling is that your life is about to change. Now, the mind, in contrast... So we just talked about the soul. The mind, in contrast, is going, yeah, something's going to happen, but I just can't explain it. What is it? How do I know that? I'll blah, 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 blah. Right. That's the thinking. And let's face it, when you're having the obsessive thinking about your twin flame, holy hell, it's kind of hard to not notice the mind. <laughs> oh, my Lord. That's the soul, guys. Your twin flame is your soul. Go watch my other free twin flame coaching videos. And you might even have a lot of questions like, well, Kurt, if we're simultaneous incarnations of the same soul, why are they acting like this? Why are they running, et cetera, et cetera? Yeah, go watch my free twin flame coaching videos. I'll tell you exactly why that's happening and what to do about it. You already are your twin flame, guys. You literally are them. How about that? It's just your soul. The mind is what's trying to understand the soul and all the weird sensations and feelings. And you think that it's you who is wondering about that stuff. But here's the thing. Here's the human condition. That's what Eckhart Tolle calls it, right? The human condition. It's when we believe that we are our mind, the ego personality. I'm a mom, I'm a brother, I'm a doctor, I'm a lawyer, I'm a teacher, I'm a taxi cab driver, I'm a YouTuber, I'm a liberal, conservative, I'm a whatever. I've been to these places, I've done these things, I have this knowledge, these are my likes, dislikes, right? This is my house, this is my life, that's who I am, that's what me is, right? But that's not who you are. You are consciousness, you are the soul. This is a remembrance of that. You're remembering that you are a powerful creator. You are consciousness. The mind is all the thinking and trying to understand. And it wants to understand the consciousness too. And you think you are that which is doing the thinking. That's what Eckhart Tolle calls the human conditioning. Speaking of Eckhart Tolle, you want to get your twin flame back? You need to watch some Eckhart Tolle videos. This is just your spiritual awakening, guys, and you just need to treat it that way. That's all this is. You don't need to do anything about the person. You already are them. You literally are them. That's another incarnation of your soul. It wouldn't be any different than if you got into a time machine and went back to the year 1880 and found yourself in your past life. Same thing. And who knows what you were doing back then? You could have been a grave robber. <laughs> or you could have been a saint. Who knows? You could have been a good guy, a bad guy, whatever. Right? You've done all the things. Tens of thousands of lives that you've lived. Right? You've done a lot of different things. Well, that's just you over there having another experience in that body. Your twin flame. It's your soul trying to awaken you. That's all this is. Now that brings me to the topic of Samadhi. Now I'm going to give you a movie to go watch. It's only an hour long. And if you watch it, it's going to change everything. Go watch it tonight. It's only an hour long. You're going to watch it and you're going to be like, yeah, I don't, I don't know how to say it, but there's something about what he's saying in this film. I don't know what it is. What is it? Right, that's the mind again going, yeah, what is it? But there's this knowing deep inside you, that's the soul. That's where you gotta go. And it's energetic. You don't think your way there. You can't understand what I'm saying. But go watch this movie. It's on YouTube, it's free. It's only an hour long, it's called Samadhi. S-A-M-A-D-H-I, Samadhi. Go check it out. And watch part one first. The Illusion of Maya is what it's called. Now, number three, 
Save the best for last. You haven't given them a thought in ages. Why? Because you're remembering that you are not the thinker. To detach from my twin flame is to detach from my mind. Put that in the comments below right now so you don't forget it. To detach from my twin flame is to detach from my mind. The mind has always been called separation consciousness. Remember I told you to go watch that video about separation consciousness? It's in my True Twin Flame Teachings playlist. Unity consciousness, union, is when you transcend the mind of separation and remember that you are union. You are your twin flame. Unity consciousness. That's what I'm talking about, guys. That's what this really is. And when you haven't given them a thought in ages, that's when they're going to show up. Because you're not your mind. You're a soul. Let's go check out those other resources, guys. Have a wonderful rest of your week. I'll see you next time. Adios.